hello beautiful people how are you doing today welcome back to my channel and to my new subscribers i welcome you specially thank you so much for subscribing you are going to have an amazing time here so today we are making pap from scratch yes so if you would like to know how you can make pap from start to finish you have clicked on the right video I started making pap from scratch like this and I would store in my freezer since about seven years ago when I had my first child and since then I have been doing this and it is the best thing to do because you can control what goes into it, you can make sure that it is clean and you get to have pap at home for whenever you need it. For this pap, I will be using guinea corn, some people call this sorghum, it is the red variety we also have the white one but i'll be using this one i choose to use guinea corn because it is um, more nutritious than corn so i always use guinea corn sometimes i use guinea corn and uh, millet you can see how dirty this grain is this guinea corn is so dirty and it needs uh, to be taken care of thoroughly so i'm going to pour that into a bucket and wash thoroughly with water this is the same method i use to clean guinea corn for making swallow if you have seen my guinea corn swallow video you will understand what i am saying and this is the exact same way i clean it up because i cannot imagine these all of this dirt all of this filth going into my food no so it has to be washed thoroughly you can see how black the water is so uh, it is also easy to take out the the chaff or the bad guinea corn when you pour water over it like that you can just i don't even bother to blow we using a tray blowing out all this all this chaff because i know that when i pour it in water the bad ones will flow to the top and the chaff like i said and it is easy for me to just remove like this and i will also rub the guinea corn in between my palms to you know just make sure that i wash them thoroughly i'm going to do this until it is clean i had to do this about three to four times to get it clean and instead of just uh, pouring the water out i have scooped out the the guinea corn bit by bit from the water making sure that i take from the top so that i can leave this sand uh, at the bottom look at it this is so sandy and uh, there are tiny stones inside that i may not have been able to pick out pick everything out if i was using a tray so it's best to just wash like this using this method i did this a second third time second time this is what i have that little amount of sand and i went on to wash again until i have this clear uh, water here and at that point I'm going to leave the water on the guinea corn and cover and keep to soak I want to get it soft on the next day you will find that it looks like that you need to pour out the water and add clean one so it does not smell this process will also ferment the guinea corn and give the, 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 the subtle tangy taste it will be a little bit sour and on the third day i took out the water and at this time they are soft enough and ready to be grinded as you can see before we go any further if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel please do that now because i have loads of amazing recipes to show you okay so i have some ginger here which has been washed and uh, cut into smaller bits I'm going to add that in the soaked guinea corn i have this for scent i love the aroma this gives and it's also beneficial for the body so i'm going to add that now i took this to the commercial grinding machine so they can grind for me smoothly we need to get this to a very smooth paste and I am home now. I'm going to be using this cheesecloth to sieve. And to the already blended guinea corn, I'm going to add enough water to fill this bucket and thin out the blended guinea corn. 
the paste i'm going to thin it out with this water i'm just trying to show you how thin the pap is now i have added enough water i also made a loop with my cheesecloth because it is just flat like that you can buy the walls that have already been sewn into like pocket style where you can just pour the uh, pap or this type you can also tie around the bucket and hold it firmly with something so we start to sieve now i'm going to pour about four jugs actually i'm not the one doing this it's my sister she's the one helping me while i am filming so four jugs of that go into the cheesecloth and gently we're going to be squeezing this out making sure that none of this escapes into the filtrate that's the one that has been uh, sieved already so she's going to hold this very firmly so what's coming out at the bottom of that bucket is the pap that we need <laughs> for a while now that i didn't make pap i have noticed that no matter the amount of pap i buy it's never enough for us so i just decided please enough is enough and when i went to buy guinea corn and the price went from like 1600 to 25 I knew no wonder <laughs> no wonder pap is very expensive you would not even find some people don't even they don't sell for 15 naira anymore it's now 100 naira and for my family of five we have to buy like 300 naira pap and you know like every weekend we do pap and akara pap and moi moi like that so i mean it's just best to just you know make some and keep now she's done squeezing out pap into the first bucket the second bucket here contains clean water and inside she will be rinsing the shaft to get out more pap just like she's doing now. She's going to do the same for the second bowl there until we're certain that we've gotten out at least most of the pap in there. Done with that and this is the chaff for the first batch. This is the last batch and we're almost done with the sieving process. But we are not done with everything yet. We still have a few more steps to take and our pulp will be ready. The ingredient measurement for this pulp is one paint plastic of guinea corn, half a cup of ginger and two tablespoons of cloves. I almost forgot to mention that so please take note. We are now done with sieving. In total, this took about 20 minutes. But the time and effort is worth it this is the filtrate and i'm going to let it sit till the next morning by morning the pap has settled under and i have water on top which i'm going to pour out to get the pap this is omidu which you can save to make a bowl if you <laughs> you are into that kind of thing actually i had two buckets of the filtrate and this is the second one this is a 20 liter bucket and another 10 i think that one is 15 liter but this is uh, where i have both and this is the second one uh, i have more pap here to the final step i'm going to transfer the pap into this chiffon fabric which is tightly woven that is going to help remove all the excess water from the pap and enable me store it properly just take a look at that goodness so beautiful i love the color i've transferred it into the chiffon fabric like i said and i'm going to tie this up and this is where i will be placing it to let out water as you can see even from the bowl the water is starting to escape little by little the water will be dropping but because i want this quicker i'm going to place a mortar on top of this to hasten this process two hours later it looks like most of the water is gone it is firm to the touch now let's reveal what we have <laughs> if you have watched this video up to this point and you have not clicked like ah please do that now and guys this is what we have our pub is finally ready <laughs> Now I'm going to portion these into this nylon in bits so that each time we need, I will just take out one. This is enough quantity for one time consumption and I'm going to wrap them up like this. Remember there's not much water in this so a little will go a long way. I have no intention to drink puff but I had to finish this up. I said I must show you what the finished product looks like so i made pap i have made a thick paste and i'm pouring boiling water over this i covered and allowed it to sit for one minute 
and this is what we have the taste the aroma everything about this pop is just perfect and it is not that type that when you are making the paste you will feel that there's sand under it and all of that no because this one is well taken care of <laughs> this is the amount of pulp i got at the end of the day this will last my family for well over one month or even two i hope you like this recipe and you find it useful if you do kindly give me a like if you have not subscribed please do that now thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you in my next one take care and have a great day